Togus is a 61 year old startup company. Togus is a, an injection molding company. Foundationally, we have 20 injection molding machines from 25 tons up to 720 tons. In the uh, mid 2000s, really refocused the company on being a specially engineered materials business, focused on small to medium sized applications. End of 2008, 2009, reinvented ourselves as an engineering and product development company, found Stratasys as a partner, and started a rapid prototype and development business. A limitation in our business is capital equipment. Tooling costs a lot of dollars. It takes a long period of time to develop, to build a tool. Stratasys is able to take a CAD file, we can import it into the machine and print a part in hours. Worst case scenario, if it's a large part, complex geometry days, not weeks and months. I took over Togus in December of 2008. As the economy's in shambles, manufacturing is going by the wayside, looking at the next Great Depression. Made the decision, rather than hunker down, to reinvest in, in capital equipment, in technology. So we called Stratasys in. We decided to purchase the Fortis 400 machine in March. Deal we made, Stratasys made parts for us before our machine came in. We had a client that we were bidding on a project and the part wasn't manufacturable the way they designed it. So our engineers redesigned the part, we no-quoted their design, we printed their part, printed our redesigned part, took it in with the proposal. Floored the customer, just so happened their client was coming in the following week from out, from, uh, out of the U.S. and it helped them close the job. It's a $600,000 program for us. So before we physically had our first 400 in the building, that by being awarded that program, it paid for a machine. Where we've, we've reinvented ourselves is we decided to focus on the front end, the product development side. Our customers, when the economy changed, easy place to lay off or, or cut, cut ca uh, costs, to lay off your engineering and product development. We saw it as an opportunity, so I went and I bought a small engineering company that we have uh, mechanical, biomedical, and electrical engineering expertise in-house. What we wanted to focus on is helping our clients take an idea through prototype and development and into production. We don't necessarily have to get the production business anymore because we're paid on the front end to help them develop the, develop the idea, develop the design, proof it, prototype it, and then the relation, as the relationship builds, it tends to give us the opportunity to close and to get that annuity the manufacturing business. We had a customer yesterday, a medical device company. They, they made a part revision um, to a sterilization piece that they have. They wanted to expand into another market. It's a mature product, but they're trying to continue to grow it. So they sent us a model yesterday. We reviewed it. We did a mold flow analysis for production for the molding side, but we're printing four parts right now. They'll have those parts today. We were going through a design review with one of our customers. They have a, uh, it was a plumbing application, multi-component, there was eight or nine components. They needed the, pro the prototype tools built in three weeks to go to focus group. Well, what we found, they, they had a team of people that came in for uh, design review here at Togus. With, uh, we, we laid out the parts and we saw an issue with stack up. We're, we're uh, assembly inside of the, the part that we were making for them that it didn't quite match up. So we printed all eight components while they were here waiting for the pizza to show up. Printed all eight components, found the gap. If we would have missed this gap, we would have built a tool that was not steel safe. It wouldn't have worked, would have missed focus group, and it probably would have cost them another $20,000 to scrap that tool, start over, build a new one, plus the time compression. We would have lost another three weeks. So having this technology here, uh, was a game changer. It, it was the difference between killing a program and keeping it moving forward. By the close of 2010, we will be up 76% over 2009. 2009 was a, was a very good year. It was our second most profitable year in company history. Uh, our third and fourth quarters were our biggest quarters in history. We're beating those quarters right now by 30 or 40%. The reason is FDM technology. Having that in-house where a client can come in and see that we're not just one of 8,000 processors that we're competing on overhead, markup, debt, um, lead times. We're, we actually invest in a technology that makes them better, differentiates us from everyone else. Our rapid prototype and manufacturing business uh, is really the heart and soul of this company. It's become the heart and soul. It's located in the middle of our facility. We have five machines right now. We have two dimensions, two Fortis 400s, 
a 900 and a smoothing station. Obviously, we believe in Stratus as a technology. We're heavily invested in it. In the next five years, I think Togus will have, or RPM will have more Fortis machines than injection molding machines. And as of today, we have 28 injection molding machines. The, the technology affords you the ability to, to actually get back one resource in this world you can't buy in that's time.